Good morning, so Wednesday the 3rd of October, three days left in LA including this one. So what's in store for today? Um, so plan is to, I'm just walking down Hollywood Boulevard now, I'm going to jump on a tour bus and try and see the rest of sort of Hollywood, um, Beverly Hills, that sort of stuff and I just want to see as much as I can. Like I said I want to come back to LA and I want to come back to Vegas but you never know with life whether that will actually happen. Also, side note, uh, I've lost my sunglasses. I misplaced them yesterday and I'm fuming. So you get to see my whole face today. Um, so yeah, right, let's get to the underway. Um, let's see where it takes us. And yeah, let me try and show you a bit of sort of the other, the Beverly Hills, the Hollywood side. So I'm walking down Rodeo Drive now and it's just, it's just ridiculous. Everything's just so pristine and clean and yeah, everything just looks like dead on. Also some ridiculous cars knocking about, Maseratis, Rolls Royces, really nice BMWs. Um, just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. It's what I expected. It's, uh, yeah, just very perfect, if that makes sense. Okay, so time now is half six, and I am here, and I'm really excited. In an out burger, um, I've heard a lot about it, so uh, let's go and see how good it is. Uh, let's see if it lives up to the hype and the reputation. A lot of people, when I said I was going to America, set until West Coast said, "Gotta try in and out." So let's see how this goes. Right, so in and out, my thoughts, good, very good. I really like the sauce, the fries maybe, maybe less so, but they were still good. Um, but yeah, I got the double double with, um, with fries and drink, similar to Five Guys, but Five Guys always just seems to edge it in my opinion, but still a good burger. I'd recommend it to anyone who, who does come to this side of America. Okay, so what have I done today? Okay, so I went to Beverly Hills, looked around Beverly Hills, looked around Rodeo Drive, and just literally walked around that area pretty much all afternoon. Then walked up Rodeo Drive to the Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah, got a bus back into town to get the in and out, and then um, just heading back now to the hostel. Good morning. Um, slow start this morning. Uh, really struggling with tiredness now. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad this trip is nearing towards the end. But today, tomorrow, and then obviously my fight. Fight started, but yeah, I'm tired. It's self inflicted in the sense that um, obviously I did plan a quiet night in, in Vegas with the hotel at MGM. But me being me, I wanted to go out because it's Vegas and Hakkasan. So yeah, self inflicted. But two days here, gotta max it out, max out what we do and make sure we try and experience as much early as possible. So my plan for today is I jump on a on a on a tour. It's called a, a some of you guys might have heard of it, it was a, I think it's a television show called TMZ or a channel or something. They do a tour of LA and I've heard good reviews about it, so um, I've thought I'm just gonna jump on that. I think what else I've noticed about this is um, obviously this is the longest sort of solo trip I've done and this put us sort of past two and if we if we say Vegas as well I like I wanted to go out and meet people I wanted to go out and have fun and get to other people and party with them whereas I don't know in LA I've just sort of wanted to do it all by myself I don't know why what that says about me or what it says about um, this trip. I think it's the nature of LA though, there's so much to do and everyone's sort of got different different ideas about what they want to do and everything's so spread out so you can only really do one or two things a day. Uh, 
everyone's sort of got their own itinerary in terms of what they want to do. Obviously, it's difficult to decide and meet people who are on a sort of similar sort of wavelength to you in terms of what they want to do. So yeah, that's something I have learned about myself. I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Yeah, it's a learning point, a point I can take into sort of my next solo trip. Okay, so a bunch of cars have just stopped on Howard Boulevard. Um, so what you've just seen there, that one's from Night Rider. That one's obviously, I believe it's Jurassic Park, obviously. Um, and then there's just a few like random sort of police cars and things like that. I pretty much just stopped the street. So yeah, very random. Okay, so did the TMZ tour. Um, took us all around Hollywood, Beverly Hills, and Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood Boulevard, all this sorts of stuff. And yeah, it was just it was a really good tour. Um, I definitely recommend it if you're here. And now I'm in Runyon Canyon. I was trying to hike up to the the Hollywood sign, but I've decided against it because of time. Felt, and I didn't know if I was, I was actually going to be able to get there, so I've decided to go for this one because it's much closer as well. It's only sort of five minutes from the. Howard Boulevard. You can see how far I can get and I can already tell there's some sick views here. Don't know if you guys can see it. So. Yeah, hopefully, if I get a bit higher, oh wait, hang on, here's a good spot. Downtown. Yeah, hopefully if I get a bit higher, I'll be able to get a good sort of panoramic shot, similar to one I got at Griffith. Kind of cool as well, like, obviously the trips are sort of coming to the end, but been up here and seen every sort of everywhere I've been so it's good to reflect and yeah it's been a good trip okay I've got one full day left and a bit a few hours more today but yeah it's been a good trip LA is a cool place I can not like I said before you understand why people live here you've got this you've got Runyon Canyon you've got the Griffith lots of trails around there and then also you've got the beach as well you've got Santa Monica Venice Beach boardwalk everyone's just yeah out and about constant which I really like um, plus the weather's nice for it so I can understand. Also, there's so many, so many places to drive. This is five minutes from obviously Hollywood Boulevard. I'm already just sick views of everywhere. It's like someone's house on top of um, where I've just walked. It's got the sickest view ever. I can get it. You can see the tiny bit of it there. Imagine living there. Amazing view. So that was Runyon Park. Uh, the plan now is to, so I've got to walk back into town or walk back into the boulevard where my hostel is. And then what I want to do is just get some food on the way back. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating. Again, this is, I, I wish there was a bus or something up here because it's, it's not the quickest. But unfortunately, unfortunately I've got to walk. It's about 15, 20 minute walk. So might have to stop midway because I'm quite getting a bit tired because obviously that was, I think, I was about three miles, three or four miles. Uh, we'll see how far I get before I have to stop. And, and then food, and then back to the hostel. And then, yeah, decide what I want to do tonight. If I'm honest, I wouldn't, I would, I would like to have a night out in LA. And I haven't had a chance just yet, because I've just been tired. It doesn't feel like it's a going out sort of hostel. It feels like it's a lot of drinking, so sort of at the hostel. As my preference is, um, obviously I like going out, I like going to clubs and things like that, and going to bars and stuff like that, so, I doubt, I actually don't think I'm probably going to get a night out here in LA. But, you know, just means I'll have to try and come back pretty soon. Um, like I said before, I do want to come back. Um, there's 
I've only just got the surface of LA. Like obviously, there's there's so many other places to explore, like Pasadena, Burbank, Santa Clarita, Malibu, and yeah, a few few other little bits. So, like I said, I want to come back sort of ASAP if I can, if I can, if I have the time, really. Um, but yeah, we'll see.